Am I the asshole for buying my granddaughter more expensive gift than my grandson? First answer we're going to give is here is going to be no. Unless there's a very huge discrepancy. I, I'll explain. Um, It's your money. You do whatever the fudge you want with. Also, it's not everybody that will need the same kind of thing. To make it a quick explanation, there are some people that are more able to do their things by their themselves or buy their own thing. There are some people that will need a little bit more support. So, if you're really um, independent, you might need less. So let's see how it goes. What is the difference in between both and what explained the difference? I have many grandchildren, but this is about the oldest one. Jake 18 and Maya 18. They are cousins, not siblings. Good. That That's okay. That's not better. That's not worse. But maybe that makes a difference because there's going to be a difference in between their parents. 18 birthdays are very important in our family. So for Jake's 18 birthday, I told him I will buy him whatever he wants. As long as it's reasonable, of course. He told me he needs a new phone, so I bought him one I, I bought one for him, which costed me around a thousand dollars. I encouraged him to choose other gifts as well, but he said it's enough. So basically he told him, you ask for whatever you want, as long as it's reasonable. He does not know what reasonable is. Probably said the same thing to the other one, and she asked for something that costs more. Let's go check. Uh, for Maya's 18th birthday, birthday, I did the same thing and told her to choose whatever she wants. She gave me a list of the thing that she wanted, and it cost me about seven thousand. We're talking about like six k different, and honestly, a thousand dollars for a phone uh, wife is totally normal. Like, if you don't go to cheap company that makes good phone, like uh, OnePlus. Uh, you will get these... Even OnePlus now cost around $1,000 when you buy them brand new. So, that that's reasonable to some point if you want to buy the phone and make it your own and get that $20 rebate every month. So, uh, for Maya, she's asked for a buttload of shit, about 7 k worth of it. And that's fine. Um, For May... Do, 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 do. I was a bit unsure whether I should buy them or not, but decided that it would be unfair if I don't buy it because Jake had the same offer and he chose not to get anything else. Jake's father, my son, was very angry at Maya's birthday. He said I'm showing favoritism. I tried to explain him that I'm not because Jake had the same offer. His argument was that I raised Maya, our parent worked a lot and I was basically her babysitter. While I didn't have as much contact with Jake, his mom was a stay-at-home mom. So naturally, Maya would be closer to me and it would be easier for her to ask me for things. Okay. First off. I don't think he's the asshole in that particular situation because the deal was like, ask me for anything that you would consider reasonable and that I would consider reasonable. And in that situation, I get that, like, Jack, Jack thought $1,000, it's a lot, but it's reasonable. And Maya thought, 7,000? It's a lot. It's reasonable, like, according to her, like, in our way of seeing reasonable. She might be a little bit more entitled, or she might be a little bit more knowing of how much her grandfather has, okay? Let's take that into consideration. $7,000, up to my standard, uh, I would spend that on a car. Nothing else. That's it. Like... I build my own computer just so that I'm able to, like, have them at low prices. So, if I could build my own car, $7,000, we would have a car. <laughs> but, but, like, why? Okay, so this guy says, you're the asshole. While you gave them a choice, which is nice, you should have decided that each one of them would get an equal value of you. What's your point of view on the thing? Or do what grandma does and give the cash value to even it out. Yeah. I agree it should be equal, but it sits wrong with me to call grandma an asshole for being gen a, a generous gifter. Where's the grandma here? What, the, what, what about what about a grandma? No, we don't see that. He's the grandma. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
I I don't even agree with that. I don't buy the 7K thing. Personally, like in my head, the the solution here is to be like, okay, we talked about reasonable. You asked for 7K. Then I would just turn over and be like, we're gonna check in that what is the most important things, you know? But that's my way of seeing that. I Is grandma the asshole for being a generous gifter? Maybe not immediately, but her granddaughter seems very comfortable asking for a lot. And since Opie effectively raised her, this very strongly suggests that she's been significantly spoiled by grandma. Grinson is being penalized for being far less demanding. Yeah, but like... Here's the thing. Okay. So... Jake's father? is the one that feel like there's something wrong. Jake has not said shit there. Jake does not care. Like, here's my point. Why do we need to have an asshole in that situation? Is he penalized? Like, Jake is able to pay for its own shit. He's 18. He asked for something that cost $1,000 because this makes sense for him. She asked for $7,000 because this makes sense for her. And Jake's... Jake's did not say shit. Jake is not pissed. Jake is just like, worst case scenario, she's been raised by her. It's fine, you know? Jake can understand that not everything has to be fair. How to say. Um, I didn't get the same thing as my brother and sister got when they went out the home. Okay? Um, I, I went out, had to find some... Uh, Electroménager. Uh, and that was fine. I had one of my brother that get that got out of home and just got like some pretty brand new, like two years old, uh, full set of, of working Electroménager in English. <laughs> so, uh, like I'm talking a uh, washing machine, a dryer, things like that. And I could be pissed at that because like he started with more stuff going out of the, the family house. But in another way, like, my parent did not have always the same ability to pay. And I did not need as much as my brother was needing because I had a job paying well at that moment. I was not working at minimum wage. I, my situation was not the same as my brother. So, like, even if you get that advantage, yes, you will look at this first and you'll be like, it feels unfair. But then you grow and you're like, no, it's a good thing. Like, it forces you to learn stuff. It forces you to be more um, autonomous. I, I have a better word for that, but like I can't find it right now. Uh, so, independent, independent. So, why would they be pissed? Like 7K, 7K, I can only imagine that there was a used car. In that list, there was like a used car. Something like this. Or, or home appliances, like things like that. But... That's feel. That feels like it's extremely fair to some point. It's not, sorry, it's not fair, but that's what they asked for. That's what they felt like they needed. And that's what the grandma offered. So, yeah, I still think like, yes, it's unfair for the amount, but if Jake's does not give a dame, there's no asshole here. We'll have to answer to this one. I'll keep this one on the side because I'll have to answer to this one. Just saying like, why do we need... Ah, let's go. Why do we need to have an asshole there? We'll do that live. Okay, we never do this. Jake isn't pissed. The sun as... A P O V, but they both get what they considered to be reasonable. Maybe one of the grandchildren feel more. What's the word? Uh, you do this way more often, but IRL instead. What do you mean? Are you really penalized for not being spoiled? No. Yeah, that's it. That's the point. 
uh, just to help Jake get a car or something that he can use or for school stuff. Yeah, honestly, if you really feel bad about that, uh, they could actually pay for a session in university or anything like easy like that if so feel more um deserving i uh, know i don't like i don't like the way i'm saying i'm not gonna answer like that okay here's why i'm not gonna do do that full message late live i really want to think the way i'm gonna say my things before we drop that reason being super simple we're on reddit I don't want to get just like backlashed like crazy. So, we'll take the time to make a good, well thought up argument instead of a, I don't want to do that in two minutes, okay? But I'll keep that one on the side for that. Writing a comment, you do that in real life. This is what I'm doing at the, yeah, I know. This is what I'm doing at the moment. By telling people that they are the asshole. But here, here, I don't believe that's an asshole situation i really believe that it's just like do a dolo for example in a dolo for example yeah i do that okay that's what you mean um but in that kind of situation like how to say it's not even a communication error only person that feels like it's unfair for now is the sun who cares it's not even jake it's the sun like it's, it's not for you it's not for him it's not it's for jake and it's for maya and if it's okay for her to like just spoil maya more than she spoiled jake that's fine and if you feel bad for this like it's personal but you, you're not an asshole for that you tried to be nice with both and they both got what they thought was a fair thing to ask for according to like the relationship they have with you and how they know you so no asshole no asshole don't try to push me to say that there's an asshole here the only asshole here is the entitled son that is like my kid deserve as much like no no we're not special your kid is not special it's fine and if jake is not pissed why the hell do you speak next <laughs> i'm i'm built up against that one okay